How's it going guys? So today we're going to go over a few simple items that make reptile care so much easier. So let's get started. So I get a lot of questions online about mostly indoor enclosures, things like what temperatures does the animal need, what sort of light do I need to go with it. And it's really hard to answer these sort of questions if you don't have something like a temp gun. This is a really important item. What you simply do is point it at the surface, pull the trigger, and it will come up with the exact temperature of that surface and just in an instant. So it's really easy, really useful. I use it on every single one of my enclosures and it's an important item that every reptile keeper should have. And they're really cheap too. You can get this for about 15, 20 bucks online and there's really no excuse not to have one. So another important thing to have for any sort of indoor enclosure, especially one that's more enclosed, like a malamine enclosure, um, if you're giving heating to your animals, you should always try and use a thermostat so this controls the temperature, make sure it doesn't get too hot in there, so your animals don't cook, and everything stays safe. So another important thing to have is tubs. This can be a lot of different reasons. You can keep animals in tubs, whether they're sick or anything like that. As well as when you're cleaning enclosures and things like that, it's important to have somewhere to put your animals where they can't escape and where they'll be safe and secure. So it's always handy to have extra tubs around for those reasons, as well as in the case of an emergency, somewhere you can put your animals always. So regardless if you're keeping lizards, snakes, frogs, turtles, whatever kind of reptile, it can be really important to have a good pair of feeding tongs. And these can be super useful, especially for larger species like my mate here, the Boyd's Forest Dragon. They have a nasty bite. So if you're hand feeding, it's a bit of a risk because if they miss the food and go for you, there can be a bit of blood pouring out everywhere. So a good pair of feeding tongs can be really useful at feeding time, as you'll see. Oh no. So when keeping reptiles, it's important to have their enclosures clean and hygienic for their health and your health. And um, for that, you're going to need a really good reptile cleaner and sanitizer. So I use F10, works really well. You only need a small dosage to make up a lot and it's really effective. So go out and get yourself some good reptile cleaner reptiles will do great with it. Another thing I strongly recommend having is just spare enclosures. You never know what could happen to your current setups. Things may malfunction. Animals could just have babies that you never even thought could have babies. I've seen a lot of posts like that. People get a new blue tongue skink, drops a bunch of babies, they have nowhere to put the babies. So always have some spare enclosures around that you can put animals in if the situation arises that you need it. And so finally, I also recommend getting a good quality spray bottle, whether it's a pump kind like this or just one you pump with your hand. These can be really useful for a bunch of different scenarios. For example, you could use it to spray down the plants in your bioactive enclosure. You could fill up water bowls. You can spray down substrate for your blue tongue while it's gonna shed. Lots of different uses for these that you will come to find if you don't have one yet. So definitely go out and get a spray bottle, it'll come in handy in the future. And with that, I say see you later guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.